Hey, Jeff Gibbons here with a Halloween video on Omnisphere. Now this is going to be specifically on the new library created by BT. And BT is one of my favorite artists. And I don't say that lightly. I've been following the guy for a long time. And to say that he's inspired me would be a huge understatement. After getting into electronic music and being influenced by artists like BT, I decided that I'd also get into film composition and BT has done a number of scores himself. So when I saw him doing that and saw some videos on him and his process, I got inspired, started to get into film composition myself and ended up scoring a number of movies as well as working for a company where I had scored over a hundred animated videos. So he's played a huge part in inspiring me musically and with my career. And I'm pretty excited about this library. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the patches, show you a bunch of them, show you how they sound, and then I'm going to show you a little song that I created in the last 24 hours, got the library, got super inspired, and just whipped up some music. So I'll show you that as well. And before I get into that, I just want to say this is my 50th video. I started uploading videos about a year ago, and the response has been overwhelmingly positive. And I'm going to be devoting more time to this in the future. Just about to hit 10,000 subscribers today, which is pretty sweet. We'll see maybe today or tomorrow. So thank you for all the support. And it's because of you guys that I keep making these videos. It's so inspiring for me and I get to see how much I'm making a difference in other people's lives, teaching them. And I've always been a teacher, always been a trained musician. So it's fun watching the two of those things come together and we'll see what happens in the future here. So let's get into the patches. Board of Canada, mm-hmm, that's what I'm talking about. patch called Halloween. There we go.
So let's get into the song. I've got a bunch of patches and two kits from the new machine expansion called The Stereotypes. Just came out last week and it is awesome as well. I'll probably do a video of that in the next couple days here. So the first patch I've got that I started with was this one called Flight From London. And this one has some modulation in it, so. Really nice kind of ambient patch. So I was like, right off the bat, I sort of saw what kind of song I was gonna be creating. And then the next thing I put in there was actually the drum beat. So this was a machine kit called the Palmer kit from the stereotypes. Later on, I put in this halo patch. Put some modulation in there as well, just to kind of keep this tune evolving as it goes through the progressions. And then, this one called Profit. Really nice as you play a little bit more intensely, the filter kind of opens up and got some, some run things that happen in that one as well. Next I put in this arpeggiator and this arpeggiator patch, uh, when I started it out, I had to change it to the 16th note triplet. So this one is called Midnight Mover. And I went to the arpeggiator in Omnisphere and at first I think it was something like this, four steps. So I shortened it just to three steps. Oops. Shorten it to three steps and change it to a 16th triplet so that it would arpeggiate through the chords according to the feel of the song. And so now, later on in the song, when you hear it, So it's arpeggiating through the chords with the feel of the song. I'll just give you a sneak preview right there. Making that cool arpeggiated patch work with the beat just by playing around with the arpeggiator a little bit. All right, and then I put in a sub bass and uh, a bit of a synth lead line right here. Which also has that triplet feel and then another drum beat that comes in in the chorus. Uh, and also a bass patch. There's one more patch here. I've got this bass patch and this one, a little bass Moog. And then in this one, it sounds like this. And for that one on the verse, I've got it hitting just perfectly with the bass drum on the Palmer kit. That's a good technique if you want to get a bit of a nice solid groove going on. You don't have to do that, of course, but it, if the bass is hitting, every time the bass drum hits, you get this really strong groove sense. And that works for tons of different genres of music. So let's have a listen to the tune. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Someone's gonna be the 10,000th probably today. And again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.